moving on to the second problem find p of 0 p of 1 and p of 2 for each of the following polynomials we have been given four polynomials p of y is equal to y square minus y plus 1 p of t is equal to 2 plus t plus 2 t square minus t cube p of x is equal to x cube and p of x is equal to x minus 1 into x plus 1. So the first bit is given polynomial is p of y is equal to y square minus y plus 1. So we need to find p of 0, p of 1 and p of 2. This is done. p of 0 can be obtained by substituting 0 in place of y which gives 0 square minus 0 plus 1 which is 0 minus 0 plus 1 this gives 1 therefore p of 0 is equal to 1 next p of 1 is equal to 1 square minus 1 plus 1 1 square is 1 minus 1 plus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 0 plus 1 which is 1 therefore p of 1 is equal to 1 p of 2 is equal to 2 square minus 2 plus 1 2 square is 4 minus 2 plus 1 4 minus 2 is 2 plus 1 which becomes 3 therefore p of 2 is equal to 3 going on to the second bit which is p of t is equal to 2 plus t plus 2 t square minus t cube so let us first find p of 0 this is equal to 2 plus 0 plus 2 times of 0 square minus 0 cube which is equal to 2 plus 0 plus 0 minus 0 which is equal to 2 therefore p of 0 is equal to 2 p of 1 which is equal to 2 plus 1 plus 2 times of 1 square minus 1 cube 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 2 times of 1 square is 1 and 1 cube is also 1 3 plus 2 minus 1 so this becomes 5 minus 1 which is 4 therefore p of 1 is equal to 4 And next one is P of 2, which is 2 plus 2 plus 2 times of 2 square minus 2 cube. This is equal to 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 2 times of 2 square is also 4 minus 2 cube is 8. P of 2 is equal to 4 plus 2 times of 4 minus 8 which is equal to 4 plus 2 times of 4 is 8 minus 8 which is equal to 4 plus 0 which is equal to 4 therefore P of 2 is equal to 4. Moving on to the third bit which is p of x is equal to x cube. So let us first find p of 0. This is obtained by substituting the value of 0 in place of x which is equal to 0 cube which is 0. Therefore p of 0 is 0. So let us find p of 1 
which is equal to one cube. So one cube is one. Therefore, p of one is equal to one. Next, p of two is formed by substituting the value of two in the place of x. Therefore, p of two is equal to two times cube. We know that two power three, called two cube, is eight. Therefore, p of two is equal to eight. Moving to the fourth bit, which is p of x is equal to x minus one multiplied by x plus one. So let us first find the value of p of zero. So substituting the value of zero in place of x, we get zero minus one multiplied by zero plus one. Zero minus one is minus one, and zero plus one is plus one. Minus one multiplied by one is minus one. Therefore, p of zero is equal to minus one, and the value of p of one is equal to substituting the value of one in the place of x, we get one minus one multiplied by one plus one, which is equal to one minus of one is zero. Multiplied by two, zero multiplied by two is zero. Therefore, p of one is zero. So the value of p of two can be found by substituting the value of two in the place of x, which gives p of two is equal to. Two minus one multiplied by two plus one. We know that two minus one is one, and two plus one is three. One multiplied by three is three. Therefore, the value of p of two is equal to three.